Hello uh, and welcome to this uh, demonstration of the Runtime Mesh Batcher. Um, it's essentially a script extension for Unity which allows to combine meshes together at runtime for procedurally generated content. Um, it's something I essentially developed for my own game uh, I'm developing which is a dungeon crawler which features a, a map editor and uh, maps which can be uh, generated by users. So everything is generated on runtime and I had problems with the amount of number of objects created. So uh, in this example, I have an empty scene as you don't have much, but there is a demo script which will generate 10,000 iterations of this stone floor um, element prefab. So there is uh, one floor and one column, wooden column, stone floor there's two different materials so I will show you when I hit play I now have 10,000 of those and as you see I have about 14,000 draw calls uh, which gives me a little bit below 30 frames per second the geometry is not really complex but still as you see the movement on the screen is not super smooth um, now uh, I have dynamic batching on but still it doesn't reduce the draw calls because there is some lighting, real-time lighting going on and Unity cannot dynamic batch when there is real-time lighting going on. So, how do you do this? I have here a runtime mesh batcher controller object which has a simple runtime mesh batcher controller script which allows you to batch by tag or by layer. So I know that there are already solutions on the asset store for mesh batching at runtime but most of them are quite more complex involve setting up objects and are much more powerful of course here the objective is to be simple you put everything you want to be batched together by a tag or by layer and it simply works so in this case I'll I have the tag already in, inserted here I'll go on stone floor pick runtime mesh batcher and then when I hit play I now have 14,000 draw calls, I click combine meshes and now I have 28 draw, draw calls and as you see the whole thing took about 0.3 seconds so it's extremely efficient and now you see that I can move extremely smoothly and I had about 27-28 frames per second and now I'm somewhere in the to a lot. So as you see the thing is quite efficient and it's easy to call, you, you don't even need to have a runtime mesh on the game object. Uh, this is the controller, which is a mesh, um, a mono behavior uh, script, but you can directly call the runtime mesh batcher directly combine meshes function through uh, as a static, so directly from any script after your levels are generated. So, uh, my name is George. This is the runtime mesh batcher, which is a very simple, as you see, solution in order to combine all objects uh, you want and notice that it automatically splits them uh, the, the resulting meshes so that uh, the 64k vertices limit that's uh, provided by unity is never uh, crossed over so it all deals with that uh, perfectly automatically and with multiple materials as you see I just put the stone floor uh, tag the the floor and column didn't have tag but he detected that there were two objects and that they had two different materials and batched them together all the same. So thank you for watching.